Spider-Man, it's Ariane. Hello. I'm here with Dustin Oscar. Hey, how's it going? It's good. Okay. We've been talking about those land races a while ago. How's that going there? So a lot of the research is showing that it's super medicinal. It's not the best like smoking strain, but in terms of the medicine, there's some, something very special there. Um, they're finding that it's got a, a great impact in stopping the MH7 line of breast cancer. So that's super exciting. Okay. We could come there and organize ourselves, you know? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. If you can do that, it'll be amazing. I mean, it's really beautiful. There's lots of dolphins. The sea's really alive right now. It'll be quite an amazing time to visit. Uh, um, but you're just going to have to see with COVID, man. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, we're going to speak about it. We're going to come back to you very soon. Yeah, we're going to have a meeting. I'm here with Dustin Oscar, so we'll see what we do. Okay, man, we'll see you soon, hopefully. Have a great day. Uh, bye. Bye. Good Thank you, bro. Ciao. 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 Looks like we have a new mission. You guys want to go on a trip? Let's try. We'll go. Let's go. So this amazing trip going down the Unzumbumbu River was uh, yeah, very special, very emotional for us, especially for me because it was the first trip without Franco that I'm doing. This trip was a special trip because Franco lived here I think two years, uh, like around 20, 2006 I think when they brought the Exodus cheese and the White Widow and all this. It was one of the first big projects we did together outside of Europe. And it was quite amazing with solar panels and seeds and creating this whole community there which is now benefiting from that. It's amazing to see the legacy that he left in those two years, you know, and all those exodus everywhere. I mean, they have some of the best cheese I saw, you know, it's like, and you're in, at the end of Africa. You know, we are doing this for Franco. For me, it's very sad, to be honest, because we've been together a lot of time. For me, it was like a big brother. So. We wanna still do it, you know, it's sad, but the show must go on, no? so. Once we start arriving here and realizing that this variety is growing nearly without roots and the plant is just living on the dew, yes, of course the buds are really small, but this is just to protect itself. It was remarkable to see a plant which has adapted with the people, because the people run away with it from the flatlands more into the mountains and the plants basically help those people. And this is something which is quite unique. I've never seen this before. And it's made the people survive here for the last 200 years and, and grow their, their, their ganja and sell it. So yeah, I'm truly blessed to have uh, two new strain hunters in this movie. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was epic to do this.
are you in? Yo, Good man. to see you. Hey. You're home, man. <laughs> oh. Oh. We have a dying man in How the back. How are you? Yeah, good. We have a dead man in the back. <laughs> yeah. oh, no. Tell us a little bit about your trip in the airplane, <laughs> uh, Oscar. What happened? Somebody had the great idea to take this small plane like this, which is doing like this all the time in the sky, so I get a little bit sick. Yes. Um, so he didn't really see where we landed. No, <laughs> see nothing. To drop off <laughs> two, three hundred meters. But anyway, after that, everything went kind of smooth, no? Yeah, very smooth. Yeah, yeah, this is, the river. is this the river that we're going to go up into Pondoland? Yeah, yeah, we, we're going to like go along the edges and travel up and yeah. But along this system, um, some of the biggest growing in this region happens. Okay. And it's because of this great valleys that this river makes. Where was the area beginning 2000 where me and Franco helped the people growing? Which direction? That's up north, eh? right in the free, uh, right in the north of Ponderland. This is actually the beginning of Ponderland. Yeah, yeah. Really, Ponderland starts about 100 k's before us, but in history, this was over this uh, river was the great land of Amaponda, the King Farku. Oh, it's amazing. Fucking awesome. Woo! Andy, yeah? you're here. Yeah. Brother. Hey, Putty, how are you? Good, good. Long time no see, man. Hey, hey. hey oh, good, man. Hey, my brother from the family at Mpande. Welcome to Mpande. Nice to meet you, brother. Or if we had the land race, we'd be back to the. It's beautiful, eh? It's super healthy. This looks super good, eh? I wonder what the purple. What's the purple? Sunset sherbet. Sunset Sherbet, White Widow and uh, an Exodus. Amazing, huh? Hundreds of cases through the kai. What you're responsible is this Exodus. Yeah. This is what they And the Widow. And the Widow, yes. You what, did, we did bring the Widow yeah, of course. in 2007. Yeah, what's, yeah, what's yeah? your favorite plant? Exodus. Yeah. Yeah. That's the best. Eh? For some reason, it has become the go-to plant of every grow in and Africa. So it was you know, disease. Yeah, no, yeah. no disease. Yeah. There you have, no, no disease. disease. Can we smell one bud? Be careful here, your head, yeah? It's super young, it's already yeah. so pungent, you know? But look how strong the plant looks. Yeah. No, the structure is amazing. Look under here. Clones, clones, clones. Yeah, for amazing. hundreds in case. But look how healthy they are, these plants. Look how beautiful they are. And they pull off the leaves often? When you pull each the day? Oh, there was one dead there. He, do, he does it every day? Mm. He's very important, well, you eh? You can see, yeah. yeah. Two two thousand thousand years. Years. How long is he farmer? Oh, 2002. 2002 you started? That's a TK. Yeah. So that's 19 year grower already also. And when did you change from the, the TK to the, the cheese? What year? Oh, 2017. Okay, Four so years. You grew yeah. land race so until so 2017, and then. Yeah. So you speak English? <laughs> no. A little bit. Yeah. Uh, I think it's the first time I see in the country so many illegal growers using cuttings in that scale. You know, because most of the time you just throw seeds and uh, and get get with it. You know, but those guys are organized and they had an amazing hash. I mean. Probably some of the best things of this cheese hash I smoked uh, for a while. Oh, gee, man. Unexpected. Oh, no, Unexpected, no, eh? No, no, no. All these dreads and all these beautiful no, no. souls. Nice to oh, meet you, yes. Arian. Yes, I know. Are you looking strong? Yeah, yes. I feel good. Yes, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Feeling is revealing. Good. Smoking is healing. There we go, there we go. Oh, wonderful, man. Oh, bro. Where are you? Where are you staying? Yeah, yeah, yeah I've been oh, working yeah. with Papa and Mama. Okay, this is your I can, field I can see your... Uh, yeah, they're tatas and I'm just helping him. Yes. It's yeah, really nice, all these colors coming out. Ah, right? yeah. Yeah, the way they're growing now, the government would maybe implement new rules in three, four years. It's going to affect all these poor farmers. Uh, yes, yes. Now, I feel that the, there might be a bit of changes, yet just the awareness and the people being able to even just try different things, the tourism, people mm. interested. It's more awareness. More awareness. And, they, and I've seen the opportunities since I've been here has increased. It's incredible. 
When I came out here 15 nothing. years ago, there was nothing. 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 I nothing. see poles, I see electricity, I see cars. Cars, uh, the Houses. building. Yeah. Um, it's incredible. Within a short space of time. 15 years. You starting with your first talks, then the seeds slowly coming. Those seeds, you guys, slowly started hitting key neighbors. Mm. Next thing the neighbors got a bit of cheese or this. Okay, we're getting cuttings. Then the next thing you know, the guys are learning how to make cuttings. Yeah. And there's little funny little tricks coming out, like chaps his name was get cat litter. You know the cat litter, the keys put cats pee in. Silica. Yeah, silica, the unflavored one, and you put it in your box. Like and then you, it, it pulls the water out the herb. So the biggest problem is humidity here, it's 70%. Yeah. And yeah. so That's people have problem. learned to grow, they haven't learned to try. In Swaziland, other countries have put it on these hot rocks because they stay also in the night hot because they absorb yes. the sun. Yes. So if you go to the beach and you have those big rocks, you lay it on those rocks for like two, three days and it's totally dry. That will be better than doing what you do now. Yes. You throw it away after. Yeah, three. I mean the best part about it was uh, bumping into brother G. It was lovely because he had some lovely hash. Um, so finally we got some hash for dust, which is really, really important. He'd been messaging me for weeks, I'm like yeah, yeah, dude. So I hadn't even sorted that out. So it was really cool to be able to get him some good hash. The plants were beautiful. They take really good care of them, but. Yeah, it's not what we were looking for, like, yeah, it's my favorite plant, so I can't blame them for growing exodus cheese. <laughs> well, it has some sweetness, you know, a bit like the critical for sure, but it doesn't have no. the cheese. Or... You smoke? No. No? <laughs> you don't know which one you like the most. Which one you like the most? <laughs> I just like to smell. If you, you only like to smell, which one is your favorite smell? It's the X8. The X8. Like the Exodus. Yeah, Exodus. And Mama, how long has your family been growing ganja? I think we started from 2003. And then, when did you start growing these plants? When did the TK end? Uh, 2017, 2016, I'm not sure. sure Five maybe, years. Uh, and did it change your life here with the family and everything? Yeah, a lot of change. Big yeah. things happened after we started it. So you have some, do you have like some, a lot of ganja still stored up? Yeah, a lot. We got lots. Like kilos and kilos. Maybe five kilos wow. that have been what, sitting that's, that's now sitting. from summer and winter that oh, we've been having. Okay, so you actually haven't even sold last And years. this one now still in the garden. I mean, also soon. Yeah. But you will sell in the winter maybe the five kilo, no? Yeah, I think this legalization because everyone now is planting that mm. I think maybe that must be the cause. So a little bit overproduction from all the families. Yeah, everyone now is not scared. People used to be scared now. Mm. Everyone, you find, yeah, you find ganja everywhere now, even in the cities. Even your customers are growing. Yes, that's why now it's scarce customers. But wow, it's so it well done. This is so beautiful. Outdoor organic, eh? this is fantastic. Eh? Beautiful. I knew there was influence. I'd heard that the places, in certain places, they're growing lots of cheese. Um, but it was quite something just to see the scale, man. The scale, how many small fields, um, and then not to find any land race anywhere it was like sad. Everybody there is growing really good weed, like exotic cheese, sunset sherbet, but it's not the land race. But at the same time, just really amazing that Ariane really got to see how good South African growers are. You know, like that was touching. Everyone was blown away. I mean, Dust is like one of the best noses in the business. He was blown away. Um, so I felt good. So hey, how long ago we saw each other? That's like 2007, 8, 9, eh? 2007, that's 15 um, years. 15 years, years ago. ago. With Franco? Yes, 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 And Franco was two years here, eh? Franco was in it, I would come, it just, it, that was Franco, he just, yeah, with the yeah, ganja, yeah. he just lived the ganja, didn't he? Yeah. Yo, yeah. yo, 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 yo legend. He taught me so much about it. Yeah. Hey, so this is now the evolution in Transkai. Now you see people making clones, there's lights. It's a whole industry, yeah? Everyone does cuttings and uh, unfortunately we've lost the local land race. Mm. That's the negative part of it. Okay. But the good side is that we've evolved into a proper business. People make a proper living out of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And they survive out of it. Yeah. Without relying on government handouts. No. Yeah, it was just a uh, damn beautiful man to just see all of that cheese and the colors and the smells and um, just great representation, I think, for South Africa with the king, you know, for the first time around.
then everyone started growing. But the helicopters mountains. came and spray also here. Oh, every I you got an SS. And they would move slowly. How many were there at the same time? There's Two? Three, three helicopters that spray and one which is called top cover with machine guns. And that one is, is there to shoot anyone that like throws stones or shoots at them. And then the three spray. But they would make a base here. They would come in the morning, they would bring their trucks with their fuel and their poison and they park on that hill and then the helicopter just lands, refills and moves slowly and every little field. Uh, so how many years did they do that? 18 years, man. 18 years in a row? 18 years in a row. Uh, in the past, until 2015, there was a scandal going on in a few countries in the world, including South Africa, where helicopters were spraying poison on the plants which let the farmers move even more up into the mountains, more steep, because we're, when they were on a steep hill, the helicopters could not reach. We had all this information, even when I was here years ago, we saw the helicopters flying, or so they were spraying over people, and you wonder how technically that is possible, you know? They do nothing about alcohol and tobacco, and here they're just poisoning out some stuff which people will smoke anyway, and so that was a terrible situation. Okay. But they're doing it in violation of law. They never had the environmental permission to come and spray these. And this is, this is all land raised on the side of the road. There's and nothing else growing. So this is basically what everybody's depending on here in this area. There. There's no other food that's grown here because all the food is grown on top yeah, there. And as dry. we move into this valley, it gets yeah, very dry. Last year it didn't rain. Then you are going to pay it and I am full. Due to emotional late and stuff, it's maybe as you are, she was saying yeah, about uh -huh. the low hanging clouds. Low hanging so you. Does she smoke? We are chai. I let it sang we order. I smoke ganja only on certain times. And does she use it for any medicinal benefits? Yeah, it only knows on one side the leaves. Mm. And what she do with it? For what? When running, I'm a car. I'm a car, be. I born a man about corner. I'm to a coastal level. Hmm. So I taking it and crush it. Okay. Mm. To make a juice. To make a juice huh. for anyone who's got a very terrible sore. That's what they do in California. Yeah, well, yeah. It's amazing. So it's for COVID. <laughs> How many years you been growing? Minga pe mnyango mama. Forty, forty-six years. Forty-six years. Wow. Forty-six. Years. All your life. From child. That's longer than me. Yeah. You learn you from, from your father. So she started when she was learning it from the parents. At home, if you are like a family, like a, the children are learning from the father and mother, they are forced to. Wow. That's how she started. From 46 the, years. Wow. You, you hardly ever kids? meet people that grow longer than us. Do you have kids also, yourself? No, one. Hey, my five. Five kids. And they work in five. the field? Yeah. yeah. Now they are at school now, you would have seen them. Yeah, working at so school. Mm -hmm. norm normally, is you, you're working alone here, or somebody help you. Sabenza, where to happen? Where to come to? Where to say? Papa, there is Papa. Okay. Hey, here's the guy. How are you guys? What's your name? Hey, my name is Bonka. How are you guys? Okay. Welcome, welcome. How are you, brothers? How are you? How are you guys? Good. Good. Very Thanks, good. Thank you. How are you? So you're from here? You live in the village? Yeah, I'm from here. I was born here. Can we go up there with you? Yeah, you, yeah, you can show us this one. Let's go. Let's have a look. Yeah, we find this field. 
the field was uh, very interesting because we saw uh, was like a hard field, uh, pretty short, but in the back was much better. It was like more than one meter. Yeah, in the front it was frozen. Yes, you in remember? The front was frozen. Even the first lines was yeah. dead. Yeah, the, the, I remember the, that. The, yeah, we realized, man, like the one amazing thing is the terpenes, and anyone who goes into these fields is just going to have the same experience, man. From from meters and meters away, you're getting this just this pure sativa smell. It was also when Ariane and Dust and everyone got really excited. Up until this point, you know, everything I'd been able to show them with pictures and things was, was one thing. But when we finally now got close, um, they really got it. They could smell what that what we had was something really special and ancient. Yeah, check out this one, guys. It's super nice. Beautiful resin. Look, it smells amazing. Yeah. Oh. You see the buds? It's, it's better structure than the others, you see? Yeah, all those pure sativa smells, you know, like this awesome. freshness. Why do you smelling it? The, the, the plant is different. Because for my side, I know it's just the same. I can't smell yeah. it. We're smelling yeah. a thing called terpenes. And in cannabis, there's actually different terpenes. You don't know that because the only plant that you have is this one. But when you go overseas and when you try these other strains, you'll see that every plant smells different. Yeah. Some smell like carrot, like this one. Some smell like mango. Some smell like spice, um, and, the, kind. Mm, and the plant's different all over the world. So here, it's a beautiful smell. We're so excited because this is a unique, unique flavor. There's something special here, man. I do. You think that turps are maybe also a little higher because the buds are so slim? Yeah, yeah. maybe like Tony was saying, you know, the ratio yeah. of the, the green material, you yeah. know, the, the plant material with yeah, the oils yeah, that are contained yeah. in the trichome. Yeah, mm. yeah that's why. Could be right. one of the reasons. Sure. One of the reasons eh? Makes yeah. sense. And also yeah. that they live on this on this dew in the morning. That's well, the strongest surviving. Plant, so yeah? for everybody that survived is a strong plant, you know, because they're just throwing the seeds, yeah, so all the weak ones die. <laughs> so yeah. but think about it. This is the only plant, kind of our plants, you know, tomatoes, whatever, that survives in this climate. We should take a sample of this night plant, yeah. you know, to send to the lab when we come yeah. back. Let's Definitely. Got, let's There's got some this. really nice flowers well, there. Well, we're going to take this part here, maybe, like... Yeah, we take a few of the nice flowers, the fresh ones, and then we give it to the, to the lab when we go back. Uh, can't wait to see the terpene profile. Yeah, and then we're going to mark the position in the GPS. You think this is enough? Brilliant. Of course. But mark. To use like a position, field number one. Let's see what this is on turps. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. yeah really nice. Wow. Did you something with that, eh? yeah. Even the males yeah. smell very good, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But those ones smell even more carrot, that side, the purple. The purple ones smell like real carrot. Mm. Mm. Come on, guys, here, look. Look that interesting male. Wow. So crazy. That's the flat stem again. Again. Oh, yeah. We have made it in May with massive flowers. Wow, look, look at this crazy plant. It's massive. really yeah. key. It's strange on If the you male. compare with the other, look here, and look this one, how many flowers we have in the, in the top. Yeah. Inside, right? Here, look, I found another really nice plant, so we can put also for the second sample. Great for the moment. It smells amazing, man. It smells so strong. Mix it. So nice. Try not to touch the, the bud, guys. So you can hold it here, and then you pull really quick. Look, only like this. Tuck, 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 like a scissor. Look, poop, 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 poop. I did a million kilos in my life. Look, that's it. And then when it's dry, we put it in a bag, and then go to the lab. Well, good day, Bonker, no? Yeah, yeah, good day, man. Let's go to the next field. Yeah, shot, bro. How are you, Thanks. Are you? Are we going to see each other tomorrow morning, then, when yeah. you come? Yeah, when you arrive to the villages, uh, you can see me around. Okay, All so you're going to come with us? Yes. Huh? Yes, we're going to show us around the river and then we're going to see can, how we're going to do that. Yeah, I can mm. take you around the pond on it, man. Okay, <laughs> I cool. know this place. This is my place here. Nice. This is my place.
Guys, come check out here what we have. You see all those fields down there? Mm -hmm. The problem is we don't really have a road to go down. There's no way on the map to go down. Sure, how high is that, eh? Wow. Yeah, it's very far and no road to access it, guys, eh? No. So how are we going to see the fields down there? Man, to walk down there? Yeah, crazy. Walking. No, walking is impossible. Yeah, we can do one. Well, how many walking. kilometers is it, that whole valley? 100? 120 from the beginning of the river, but and we can raft it. No fucking way, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, why not? Like Look, that. all the rapids are not so big. I don't like that. Idea. And if it's really, really crazy, we can pull the boats out and go a little bit around. Yeah, that's that's pretty sad, actually. Yeah. So look at this. What about? Huh? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> We're the first people who raft this river. You're fucking casual, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why not?